Hey guys, welcome to Emberscape, Yarek here and today I'm gonna polish once again some ember but there is some good news because the lockdown is lifted but not uh, fully I mean I can't visit uh, neighborhood all around so maybe I will try to do some fossil hunting but for now let me grab one piece there it is quite small piece I think there is a plan and actually let's get one more or maybe two more here they are and that's gonna be three pieces that I'm gonna polish today uh, all of them are small so it will take me close to no time I hope and let's get started so let's check the weight as always to see how much we lose this is the plant, uh, piece with the plant and it weighs almost 7 grams so not too shabby shabby second piece is 2 grams <laughs> almost and last one is 285 awesome as always I will make them wet before I start bloop bloop so I think it will start from this biggest one plant, which I think is a plant, but it's not given that it's a plant, is in the middle and there is some, some distance from the surface, so I can remove all of this. Yeah, let's go. Guys, like I can't remove it, it looks like the fall corner might need to go, but I'm not sure yet. I'm trying to save it somehow. I think the dremeling is done for this piece, I made it quite flat, but the plus side from being flat that I, I will be able to make better photos when it's flat. And I'm still not sure if it's plant material. We will see after polish, guys. And yeah, let's finish it right away. <laughs> 400 grit for the biggest piece. There it is, quite flat, yes I know, no worries, let's finish it, more water. Guys, accident happened, oh damn it, it snapped, where the crack was snapped, I won't glue it, I'm not as devastated as I would because or plant or whatever it is, it is in one piece, so it's not terrible. Oh my. It happens, right? So I guess accidents don't walk one by one. There's another accident. I polished a little bit of my finger or pre-polished. Not exactly best feeling in the world, but the piece is fine. So the final uh, step, the polishing, let's get it not wet, anti-wet, dry, that's the word I was looking for, <laughs> and finish the piece, I can spoil you uh, right now, it's gorgeous, it's gonna be gorgeous.
Hmm. It is indeed some sort of plant, and I think there is a bit for guys. Pretty neat piece, if you ask me. So this is uh, some sort of debris from the tree or something like that, can't tell uh, more precisely. And the beetle might be any kind of beetle, also can't tell. But it's pretty nice piece, pretty cool looking. Let's not waste any time and start with the next piece right away guys. This piece has totally different smell from the previous one. Hmm, different raisin? Anyone? Looks like an arrowhead a little bit, and I think I finished dremeling this one. So let's go to the pre polish state polish, and also finish this one. So let's start working on this one. Coffee break, I guess. And let's finish this arrowhead piece. Yeah, the arrow head piece is shining like crazy, guys. The insect I will show you in a second. Little bit of patience. And this strange looking creature is actually a nymph of a cicada, basically a larva of cicada. It was also identified by Arturi. Once again, big thanks for your help in IDing the insects. Uh, that, that's how it looks alive, because it's not extinct. And the last piece, and this one will be the most challenging, because the insect is very close from both sides. From here, the head almost sticking out, if it's not sticking up. And from here, so my plan is to make it visible, so basically all this thing have to go to be flat. We can make pictures from at least one side. Mm, maybe. Yeah. It have to be flat, so it will wait close to zero, guys. Yeah, let's start. <laughs> it's hard to grasp it. Funny story. Yet another smell. This one also smells totally different from the previous two pieces. See? I hope I didn't chop its head off. No, I didn't. It's fine.
Yeah, so this corner now goes. Okay, so I'm at the point that when I stopped seeing the insect and it gets me uncomfortable there is some holes that uh, it's really problematic to remove and I'll try my best but this top part where it was sticking out almost I won't uh, you know touch anymore I didn't scrape anything off yet uh, if it was sticking out it, that was from the very beginning so let's see how it looks like. I need to polish it a little bit so I can start seeing it because now it's like totally not opaque, not transparent. And keep this super tiny tip to get rid of this super tiny hole because I can't reach with the big tip. So let's see if it helps. Kind of does. It's gone. There it is, it's gone. Let's make it a little bit flatter and good to go. I'm starting with 800 and stick instead of 400 to not rush it out. Actually, I'm thinking of cutting this corner, guys. Should be without the corner, and why? Because then we can observe the insect from this side if I make it flat. Because now it will be observable only from this side, and the shape will be maybe a little bit more pleasing if I cut it off. I'm not sure. I'm cutting it. It will be so slippery. And our smallest piece is done. Little gem. <laughs> it was so small, it was really not comfortable to do it. Yeah, I will show you through microscope the pictures in a second. I think this is an ant. We can observe it from three sides. This one, this one, this one, a little bit of this one. <laughs> basically four sides. This ant belongs to extinct genus of ants. Upside down I was thinking it was a spider because of its legs. <laughs> Very nice ant, a welcome addition to my collection. So yeah guys, thanks for watching the video. I really hope you did like it. Consider subscribing and liking the video because it gets me motivated to make more and bye.